Let's get you now an India Today exclusive report. We've been giving you details of the horrifying minor rape case that's come to light in Bengal's Nadia. There was a lot of outrage when Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee chose to cast dispersions on the victim, chose to question if this was a case of rape at all. The Calcutta High Court, also while transferring the case to the Central Bureau of Investigation, highlighted a series of lapses by the Bengal police. Now, India Today's investigation has thrown up some shocking details about how the victim's cremation took place in a hurried manner, how the doctor who treated her is not even qualified. He's a BA graduate. More details like that coming up in our next report. A BA passed doctor. Hurried last rites. An unofficial crematorium. More skeletons are coming out in the alleged Nadia gang rape and murder as India today digs deep. Our reporters tracked down the local doctors who treated the minor girl. Qualification? Local doctor. BA. A doctor with a BA degree. There is more. Qualification? Local doctor. BA. She was born. How many hours? At 4 o'clock. मेरा पास बोला पेट में दर्द दर्द आए मैं पेट में दर्द के दवाई दिया था तरासिटा माला और एंटासिड दिया था आप क्या सुने किस तरीके से पता चला कि वो दवाई ने पिलाने के पहले ही वो डेट हो गया The village doctor claims he did not know that the victim was in pain. He adds that he did not know the victim was bleeding. Neither did he know. If she was raped. आपने भी क्यों पुलिस को पुलिस के पास नहीं गए? ये तो मेरा कहना ये है नहीं है। वो तो घर वाले के ही हैं। परेशानी है। पुलिस आपसे भी पूछताछ की होगी इस सिलसिले में? हाँ मेरा कहना है पास भी पूछताछ की है। तो क्या पूछा उन्होंने और आपने क्या बताया और क्या कुछ आपने? कौन से दवाई दिया? क्या दवाई � one thing is clear that the victim did not get proper medical attention. The victim's father says when her daughter died early on 5th April, some neighbours came to their house. They took the body to a crematorium 200 metres away from the miners' village. India today visited the crematorium and we found that the cremation ground is run illegally. It doesn't even keep records of cremations that take place. The members of the local committee in charge of the crematorium are missing since the victim was cremated. The question remains, how is an unofficial crematorium running for so long? The crematorium, the Samsan Ghat, when is it there? It's been a long time ago. It's a very old time. But the new people of the construction of the people of Gaoka मिलके मंदिर 2015 से दिख रहा था हाँ 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 जब डेड बॉडी की क्रिमिनेशन हो रही है तो उसके तहत एक सिस्टम है ना कानूनी कार्रवाई कागजात यानी डेथ सर्टिफिकेट ये सब किस तरीके से देखा जाता है वहाँ पे वो सब मेंटेनेंस नहीं होता होता नहीं होता ये गांव का लोग कोविटिव करके उधर जो करता है उभर करता है ट्रबल Police sources tell India today one of the accused, Brojo Gayali, has led them to the room where the alleged gang rape took place. Police have recovered a bed sheet from that room which had blood stains. The 14-year-old victim was allegedly raped at the birthday party of the TMC leader's son.
place where the minor victim was gang raped allegedly and we can see that the CVI investigative team they have arrived here and now uh, as you see that uh, they barge into uh, inside the uh, place of occurrence the crime scene because the uh, as we know the uh, accused family uh, were uh, absconding uh, since this incident happened and the prime accused of this crime who is a son of the local TNC leader has been arrested along with an, uh, of, uh, another of his friend. <laughs> Meanwhile, the CBI has moved Rana Ghat court seeking custody of the arrested suspects in the case. The alleged rape, attempted cover-ups and the High Court's order handing over the probe to the CBI have come as a huge embarrassment for the Mamta Banerjee government. With Ritik Mandal in Nadia, Bureau Report, India Today. Let's take this across to Ritik Mondal, who's filed that story for us. He's joining us live from Hanskali in uh, Nadia. Uh, Ritik, you know, the details that you've unearthed here, and it's not just about a lack of basic facilities, but also questions that will be asked of the police's investigation so far in this case. That is hugely embarrassing for the Mamta government. Take us through and run us through what the family has had to say about how this investigation has progressed so far. Right, actually, uh, there are uh, more shocking, you know, facts are emerging at this point of time and CVI is probing this case, Akshita, and as the family was hoping uh, uh, that the CBI will, will, you know, conclude the investigation, uh, at this point in time, let me tell you that uh, over the, amid the outrage in West Bengal over this Ashkali rape and murder case, the BJP, uh, you know, National President J.P. Nadda, former five-member, you know, fact-finding team, uh, but, uh, you know, to ascertain the details about the crime, and uh, the all-women five, uh, five uh, fact-finding team uh, of, uh, is expected to arrive here in Hashkali today. We are expecting their arrival in the afternoon. And uh, the members includes MP and BJP National President Rekha Varma, UP Cabinet Minister uh, Baby Rani Moria, Tamil Nadu MLA, and BJP Na uh, President Mahila Mocha, uh, Vanati Sinivasan, and uh, the party leader Kushbu uh, Sundar, and of course, uh, West Bengal M MLA and Sridupa uh, Mitra Chaudhuri. Uh, and on the other hand, as I was uh, uh, I mean, telling you, that uh, how, how the CBI, the investigative team, arrived here and they visited the spots, and of course, they met the Victim family. They assured they, uh, the family has been reassured by the CVI investigative officer uh, justice. And we do, did see yesterday that they visited the crime scenes, as, uh, you know, one by one. They also went to the crime spot. Uh, the uh, and they uh, and the, the team broke open the lock of the wooden entrance of the of the house of the accused house, who is the son of uh, of, of a local TNC leader. And they barged into. They collected samples from the uh, from that particular crime spot. So they believe that. Uh, that will be uh, enough to substantiate the crime. But uh, as we know, the body was cremated before the autopsy was done and the, even the uh, death certificate was not issued. So at this point of time, we are being told that the, this uh, CVI investigative team will be visiting the uh, village once again today. Okay. So let's see what, uh, hap uh, what happened next. And we'll keep coming uh, across to you, really Ritik. You're telling us that a lot uh, is expected uh, to play out today CBI. where you are in Nadia district. We'll keep coming across to you through the day for those updates for the moment. Thank you for joining us.